Welcome back to the channel where we explore the creative uses of AI and we have been on a voice cloning and music kick lately, haven't we boys and girls? Well, I am not going to stop now because somebody told me about Replay. Now, if you don't know about Replay and you have an interest in voice conversion, specifically taking the voice of any song and changing it with whatever voice you'd like to put in there. I've been showing all sorts of tools the past several months really about how to use different pieces of software to get various parts of that task done. Use this software to download and separate the tracks. Use this software to convert the audio on your computer and then more software to put it together. And while this is not a 100% total voice cloning and conversion solution, it goes a long way to making the process super, super easy. And I'm a person who likes to use tools local on my machine, but this is a tool that I have become completely addicted to and I spent way too many hours converting songs all weekend long. And I'm going to show you why and I'll bet you you do it too if you haven't explored it yet. The first thing you need to do is go get replay and it is free, boys and girls. Every aspect of this project is free. Isn't that nice? There's no subscriptions of any kind to do what we're about to do here. It's pretty mind-blowing, actually. When you get here, you've got choices. You can download it defaults to Windows on my platform, but you can also download to Mac and Linux. Pretty simple install. Be aware that as you're running this program, it may occasionally download models from the internet and slow the process, but all those model downloads are a one-time operation, and it appears that most everything is taking place on your machine, which is fantastic. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. Because this is all about replacing vocals in an audio track, and because I don't want to deal with copyright restrictions, even though I'm so tempted to play you all the stuff I did this weekend, I just am not going to take that chance. And luckily with Suno, we don't need to worry about that. We can go generate our own song and it's going to be great. So here in Suno, I've already created a song just to eliminate all the trial and error that's going to be perfect for our example. I'll play a little bit of it here. Basically, it was a crooner, male solo, jazzy, upbeat, swing, quartet, brass, summer breeze in the city. I was taking a bunch of Frank Sinatra titles and mishmashing them and see what they come up with. And this is what we've got. I took off to New York in the summer breeze. Okay, we won't listen to the whole thing now. So we're gonna go ahead and download the audio track from that particular song. And then we're gonna to go to replay. Now your screen won't look exactly like this because I've been filling it up with stuff all weekend, including models that I've downloaded. And I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that. But let me just give you a quick demo of how this basically works. You select any song you'd like, music track with audio on it, and drop it right here. Or you can record your own vocal track. Or the most fun part is entering in a URL for YouTube and it will download the video, separate the audio, do the conversion for you all in in one step. It's really quite amazing. As tempted as I am to play you demos of all the stuff I did this weekend, I just don't want to risk it. So let's just play with what we did. So we're going to drop the song we just downloaded from Suno right in here to select or drop audio here. We can preview it to make sure it's the right one. It's the right one. And now we choose our models. But Bob, I don't have any models. I just downloaded this thing. Where do I get these models from of which you speak? Look at this, it says right here, if you just would relax, it says right here, looking for more models? Yeah, 20,000 plus available on weights.gg. Let's click that link right there and then boom. So when you get to weights.gg, the first thing you wanna do is to create an account and it's free. So all you gotta do is click login up here and then you can continue with any of these ways to get in. I generally use Google. Once you're in, now you can search for and download these models. The easiest way to do that because the organization around here is questionable at best just click on the magnifying glass to search and just type in the name of the voice you'd like. Now they have a lot of singers here. They also have a lot of characters. For example, all the SpongeBob gang is here. If I just type Sponge, you'll see that. And let's say a singer like Billie Eilish, if we just type Billy, you'll see that we've got lots of choices to choose from. So you can spend a lot of time here just finding and playing with models. You can preview what the model sounds like, by the way, by just clicking this arrow here. As a speaking sample for a weights GGA. And it gives you a speaking sample, as you can see. We could dive deep into this side. Let's get a voice that I have not used. Just for the purposes of this, let's get Dean Martin because he's a crooner and this is a crooner song. Let's see if we got Dean Martin up here. We seem to have one. Let's listen to it. As a speaking sample for a Waits GGAI voice model. Sure, sounds enough like him. Let's give it a try. So we're going to download the model. And what we're gonna get is a zip file. And when you open it, most of the time, you're gonna have something like this. Sometimes you're gonna have a little bit of a directory structure, but you're gonna have a PTH file, which is the actual voice model. And you're gonna have an index file, which kind of tells the voice model how to behave. First, we're gonna extract this into a folder with the rest of the voice models that we have. I'm actually gonna create a folder for this. Flick folder and extract. Once that's extracted, we're gonna to wanna to rename these files because they all come down as model and that's gonna get quite confusing. So let's just rename this to Dean Martin PTH and Dean Martin index. And these are all being saved in the default 
model file for replay, which is defined under the app dropdown. Click on show settings, and here's where you define the current app directory. Once we have that model renamed, it's ready to drag right into replay. So we just take the PTH file and literally drag and drop it right where it says. And it says successfully added Dean Martin. And now Dean Martin shows up in this growing list of model files that I have. And let's pop in on the settings real quick because we want to make sure of a few things. Stem only means it's going to skip the voice conversion and output the vocals only. So it's just going to take the vocals off of this track and create a file that you can download of the existing vocals, not anything converted. We're not going to do that. Pre-stemmed means that the vocals have already been separated from the audio. So if I was to record my voice here in the record your own option that was up here, I would use the pre-stemmed option because there's no music to separate. The relative pitch you change when you're drastically changing the voices from one to the other. For example, if I'm going to change to a female voice and the female voice is probably an octave higher than mine, I need to tell Replay that my voice is an octave lower. The easiest way to do that is just to click on minus 12. In this case, it's a male voice to a male voice, so we're just going to leave it right where it is. The instrument pitch. This allows you to change the pitch of the actual music track. So if you change the vocal track to sound a little bit more real, you might need to change the instrument track to transpose the audio to meet that vocal. You can leave the stem method here alone, and you can leave all this alone. You can take a peek at advanced settings, but I literally have not changed any of these things except to set the microphone input value for when I do record my own thing. Everything else I leave just where it is. You won't have CUDA here unless you have an NVIDIA card in here, but uh, you just go with whatever you've got. You'll probably have the option of CPU or some sort of GPU if you have one. All right, now we're just going to click on Create Song. Now, the first time it separates the audio, it takes a couple of minutes. But once that's done, that separated audio is on your system. So it's really easy just to go through a bunch of other voices and audition them, which we will do. So you can see what's happening here. It's separating the track. It's about 16% of the way through. Your GPU definitely determines how fast this goes. Right now, I'm running this on an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super. And on another system, I run it with an RTX 3090, and it's way faster on all processes. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm using this, and it will take a little bit longer for the track separation to occur. You can, by the way, queue jobs. While this is doing this, I can go ahead and start another job completely. So Beautiful dreamer. I'm going to go back to replay which we're still separating the track. Instead of changing Bing's voice out with Dean Martin, why don't we change it out with Squidward? All this stays the same. And we're gonna go ahead and click on Create Song, and now you'll see two songs queued. Now we're waiting for the first track to finish separating and do the conversion, and then the other one will start while we're having fun with the first one. Our track is finished, so if we click on it up here, We'll see that in addition to the finished conversion, we also have the ability to download the source tracks. We have the original song track, the converted vocals only, the original vocals only, and then the instrumentals only. So it's great if we want to remix this, which is what we're going to do. Let's just take a listen real quick again to what the original song sounded like. I took off to New York in the summer breeze. Now let's listen to it with Dean Martin's voice put in. I took off to New York in the summer breeze. Well, I did it my way, no one to appear. Awesome. So let's just click Remix again, and let's just quickly choose another voice. This time, we'll choose a Billie Eilish voice. And because her voice is higher, we're going to go down here to Relative Pitch, and we're going to click on Plus 12, and we will click on Create Song. And you'll notice there's no separation going on. We're just loading in the voice conversion model real quick, changing the voice, creating audio files, and it's done a lot quicker. Already done. Off to New York in the summer breeze. And I did it That's a little high for her voice. Well, what we could do is try and change the relative pitch and try the instrumental pitch, which I've never actually done. So this is a good opportunity to do this. Since that seemed a little high for her, I think the zero would still be too low. Let's go down about six steps here. All right, but that means we're going to also have to change the instrument steps down of six. So let's just see what happens when we do that. Definitely transposed. I took off to New York in the summer breeze. Much better, right? And I did it my way, no one to appeal. I think that's great. It sounds pretty good. But if we want to sweeten it up a little bit, this is where the beauty of being able to download those individual tracks is. So now we just go down here and we just want the instrumental track and the converted vocals. 
Now that we've got those two audio tracks, I'm just going to download each of them into my favorite multi-track editor. You can use whichever one you want to, provided you can do effects and other basic editing. I have already created a very simple effects rack with reverb that I've put the vocal track on, and I've left the music track alone. Let's just play it how it is and see how the levels are. Again, this is the original instrument track now with the Billie Eilish sample on top. Off to New York in the summer breeze, and I did it my way, no one to appease. That's great. Let's do the same thing, but let's download the Dean Martin tracks that we did originally. Now, with the Dean Martin one, we're going to have to re download the instrumental track because that one was not transposed like we did for the Billie Eilish ones. So click that, and now click the converted vocals. Those are both being downloaded, and I'll just drag those in like I did before and click play. I took off to New York in the summer breeze. Well, I did it my way, no one to appear. Now, you don't want to forget about Squidward and Beautiful Dreamer, so let's just click here. We'll download the instrumental track. We'll download the converted vocals. Go back into Audition. We'll take these out. We'll drag the instrumental in here. We'll drag the vocal in here. Sometimes when you get these downloads, you'll see that there's some noise here in the vocal track, which is basically not really singing. So what I'll do in my case is I'll just go into these files, make sure that it's noise, and I'm just gonna silence this. In my case, I'm just gonna go under Edit, Insert, Silence, and click OK, and it just replaces that whole piece with silence. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And then let's peek here at what this is. Yeah, that's noise too, so I'll also silence that. Okay, and here in Audition, those changes are automatically applied here in the multi-track. So now you can see that's all cleaned up. So let's just go back to the beginning and hear Beautiful Dreamer with Squidward Tentacles. All under fair use. Because we are significantly changing the original by changing the main vocal. Here he is now, Squidward Tentacles. Beautiful Dreamer. Wake unto me, starlight and dewdrops are waiting for thee. I'm your hero right now, aren't I? So hopefully your mind is already sufficiently blown because you could just sit here and do this all day with the ease that it is to download these models and play these out. And once you separate it, it's really super fast. It's really cool. So have fun with all of that. Let's take a look at another little feature here, multi-model. What does that mean? Select multiple models to use for one song. This is just sort of like a batch processing. Let's go back to Summer Breeze in the City, for example, and click Remix again. Click on multi-model. I want Darth Vader and I want Farth Brooks versions of Beautiful Dreamer. And because these are male, I need to make sure this relative pitch is down to zero again. Would not make sense to do a full batch with female and a male voice if the ranges are drastically different. And then I click create song. And again, all it's going to do now is it's going to just convert each of those voices. Now what we end up with when we look over here, now we have the number two here. Now we have converted tracks for Frank Sinatra and Garth Brooks. Now let's try merging models. First you have to have multi-model chosen. Then we have to choose the models that we want. So let's just say Billie Eilish and Sheldon Plankton. Now I'm going to click on merge and I'm going to click on create song and see what we get. It's creating an entirely new model from those weights, which didn't take long. And now we have the summer breeze in the city, Billie Eilish, Sheldon Plankton, making sure it's still just one track. Let's listen. I took off to New York in the summer breeze. I mean, how are you going to say that that's wrong? Because we don't know what Billy Eilish and Squidward would sound like together. This is a 50-50 mix, as it says right here. Let's see if we've got the ability to shift who gets how much. Yes, if I click this icon here, I can say I want more Billy than Sheldon, and it just automatically changes. So let's try it with a preponderance of Billy, and then we'll try it with a preponderance of Sheldon. I took off to New York in the summer breeze. Well, I did it my way, no one to appear. So that's odd uh, because I did mix a female voice and a male voice. And Blankton's way down here. And she's somewhere up here. Maybe if I had done the 12 plus, it's okay. Let's go ahead and change those ratios and see what we get. Bring Billy down and Sheldon Plankton up. I took off to New York in the summer breeze. That's mostly Plankton. Maybe I need to back it up just a little bit more. Get a little more Billy in there. Well, I did it my way, no one to appear. I freaking love this. 
So much fun. Now, you don't have to just convert music if you don't want to. If you just want to convert speech, it works perfectly well like that, too. For example, let's convert my voice into Squidward tentacles. Why is my voice constantly being used for folly? Why can't I be taken seriously as an artiste? I'm going to make sure you click that little save disc there. It's not intuitive. Why is my voice constantly being used for... F All right, that's me. Let's go down here to Squidward. And this is where we would click pre-stemmed. And when you record your own, it automatically assumes that it's pre-stemmed. It already defaults to zero here. So let's just click on create song. This should take seconds. Yep. Why is my voice constantly being used for folly? Why can't I be taken seriously as a... Okay, let's do Darth Vader. I've been going over your records. It seems you are a little late on your TPS reports. I'm hoping that perhaps you can get that done for me. And yeah, I'm also going to need you to come in on Saturday. That'd be great. I've been going over your records. It seems you are a little late on your TPS report. And yeah, I'm also going to need you to come in on Saturday. So provided you download or can make your own models, this is an amazing way to quickly change out any voice for any voice in any song, pretty much hands off, except for whatever editing you do on the other side. But this again, takes what you can do with Suno to new levels, because now for any song you create, you can use any singer you want and even create duets. There's one other feature that this program has that I'm afraid is kind of obsolete, especially with things like Suno, but this allows you to create music from a text prompt. Not songs, not lyrics, short little snippets of audio, probably not more than 10 seconds unless you have all kinds of time on your hands, and it's not gonna be nearly the quality that you're gonna get with something like Suno, at least not yet. These are using models created by Meta slash Facebook to create music from text, and several months ago, it was pretty freaking incredible, and there is a lot you can do with it here. Since I don't really think anyone's going to use this, I'll just show you an example of what I'm talking about right here. So let's say a marching band pop ballad with accordions. We're going to click on settings and see that the song duration default is 10 seconds. And if you haven't downloaded models or if you have a slower computer, this 10 second clip is going to take you a hot minute to get. And I just don't know that a lot of people are going to have the patience for it. There are different models that are being used and downloaded depending on what you're asking it to do, how long you want it to be, whether or not you're trying to guide it with a melody. Every time you activate a new model, it downloads. It takes a while, but it's a one-time deal, and then it all happens on your system. But right now, let's just say a marching band pop ballad with accordions create music. Running one-time setup, which means I've asked it to download a model, which I don't yet have on my system. So that's going to take a little bit of time. You'll notice that once it actually starts doing the conversion, version, we get a countdown here, 45 out of 500 steps. And truly these days, the payoff just isn't worth sitting here and doing this. But I want to show you anyway, because it's in here. Let's see what we got. No, let's just for fun go into Suno and give it the exact same prompt. I'm going to go into custom mode. I'm going to say instrumental. And the style is exactly what I did there, a marching band pop ballad with accordions and click create. No freaking contest. I am not kidding when I say I have spent hours with Replay this weekend, just downloading things from YouTube, changing out the voices, laughing my ass off and doing it again. And the quality of the separations is really, really good. If you isolate the vocal tracks, they sound amazing. So have a ton of fun with this. I'd love to hear what you do with it. If you enjoy this type of material, anything AI and creativity related and going down rabbit holes and mishmashing tools together and being a real mad scientist about it, I invite you to subscribe. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I...